Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope we're all doing well. So I'm starting this video in a bit of a strange way. Basically, I am going through to Liverpool tomorrow and I want to bring you guys along with me. I'm going to go to Prano. I am so excited. I'm starting this video the night before because I'm not going to have time to film an intro before I go tomorrow because I'm going early. It's Saturday tomorrow and the queues I fully expect to be mental. So I thought it would be best to film an intro tonight and then tomorrow I can just catch up with you when I'm there. I really, really hope that you enjoy this video. It's going to be gonna be a little bit all over the place okay i fully fully expect me to go to other shops than primark as well so this video may well turn into a little bit of a haul of who knows what actually oh my goodness my friend grace actually reminded me that liverpool has a pull and bear and i'm actually so excited to go i've not shopped in pull and bear since obviously they all closed and honey if you don't know what pull and bear is Give me three to five working days to get over it. Pull and Bear is literally my favourite shop. The stuff in there is absolutely insane. I'm going to probably do this as a little bit of a vlog. We're going to go through to Liverpool tomorrow together. I go shopping! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe because it really does mean the world to me. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for 108 subscribers. Like, I'm actually buzzing. Molly May posted, like, a photo on her Instagram story and it was, like, her face was like this. Um, the face you pull when you reach 1.5 million subs and I was like, I'm pulling that face and I've reached 108. Woo! Everyone's a win, you know? Yeah, I did actually say thank you on my Instagram, but if you don't follow me on there, then you won't have seen it. So thank you so much to anybody that has subscribed to me or anyone that takes the time to watch my videos. It honestly, honestly means the world to me. I just feel like this is really helping me be who I want to be. And yeah, it's just given me a lot more confidence to be who I truly am. So thank you. And yeah, I will... See you guys in the morning. See you there. Oh my God. I just got to the station and it is so hot today. Like, I'm really upset that I didn't wear a dress now. This is the fit. I can't really show you to be fair. Oh God, people come and I get really scared. It's so hot. I have to keep my jacket off for the time being, I think, even though it doesn't feel that hot, but it is once you've walked, do you know what I mean? I'm waiting for the train. That's in a few minutes. And I will probably check in with you guys when I'm at one of the many shops that I'll be going to today. See you soon. I'm here. I don't think it's ever not feel weird now seeing loads of people out and about again, but I'm buzzing. Do you know what? It's actually really weird being in Liverpool on my own without Matt. Miss you, babe. I'm on my way to Urban. Oh my god, guy. Maybe I'm not. Primark. Okay, Urban can wait. Just decided to go for it and join the queue. It's right round the corner, but it is what it is. It's moving pretty quickly, so I'll probably be in there soon. I literally got in in seconds, but oh my god, how cute is that? They don't have my size though, so moving on. I am actually so impressed. They've got so many cute stuff. Look at these scrunchies. Getting them. <gasps> how cute. I don't need it, but how cute. Look at how cute all the spring section is. I'm actually feeling so overwhelmed. Oh my god. What? Need those. <laughs> okay, I've made a rookie mistake by not getting a basket, so that's where I'm going. Where they have a whole Billie Eilish section. What? Oh my god, guys, look at the gym store. I'm copying a set of this. 100 million percent. Can strike my basket. Anyone else need this top? It can't just be me that didn't know that Primark had like a whole beauty section. A whole thing with like toothpaste and stuff. What the hell? I'm actually in my element. Question, what do we think of this bag? I'm kind of in love with it and I think it might just be going in my basket. Whoops, that was an accident. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit overwhelmed. So I'm in the queue with a bag full of stuff. I'm not gonna show you everything now because I'll just wait until I get home to show you everything. Primark, you did good today. Oh my god, wow. Marty's gonna kill me for spending so much money in there. Whoops. Next stop, Urban Outfitters. You know when you like walk past those shops that like, you really want to go in and be like, I can't afford it. Like, I just walked past the white company. One day. We'll get there one day. 
just been to Urban, but I literally couldn't film in there because, oh my God, it was absolutely roasting. And I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> I've been there, got some lovely, lovely bits. Now I'm actually going to be on my way to Pull and Bear. And I'll probably try filming there because it's quite nice and big. Where is that Urban? The one in Liverpool is very small. I'm not even going to talk about the fact I've just seen a guy get on the escalator and lift his dog up like a suitcase. Like his dog had a harness on and he just lifted it up like a suitcase. I tried to film it but I can't, there's like people in front of me. That was really funny. First opinions, I'm not impressed. I literally hate to say it but there's nothing. This is kind of cute actually, but the, my only problem is it's not a jumper. Like a cut sleeve jumper. I don't understand that. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. Sadly, I could have lived without everything in there which is a real shame actually. Really want to go to Zara because people keep on finding really nice things in Zara, but the queue, oh, oh my gosh, I just felt rain. Queue looks huge and I don't know if I can be asked for that. I'm not doing it to myself. I'm not queuing for Zara because every time I go in anywhere, I never find anything nice. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna head to one of my absolute favorite shops to shop for Matt and it's called Resurrection on Bold Street in Liverpool. Now, if you know Liverpool, you know Bull Street is the place to be. I'm gonna go there and I'm actually gonna have a little look and see if there's anything that I think Matt li might like because you've gotta treat your significant other every now and then. Am I right, ladies? You give it, you get it back. That sounds really rude. <laughs> so, I didn't film in Resurrection because I couldn't. We've like made some mutual friends in there. <laughs> so we, me and Matt, every time we go in, we always see obviously the same kind of people that work there. So I was just stood chatting to them for a bit, which was really nice to see them again. I so I did actually pick Matt up something and I'm gonna surprise him with that when we get home. I can't wait to show you guys what I got, but I'm gonna end this little bit here and then I'll check in with you guys when I get home and do a little try on section. Bye. So Matt's just come out with the fact that he thinks I should have vlogged my day. So I'm just going to catch you all up now. <laughs> Basically, went out for lunch with some amazing people, had a bottle of wine, decided to get a tattoo. You like it. And then I'm now back at my friend's house, having a few beverageinos with the fire on. So I hope that that was worth putting in the video. If not, I'm... Blame me? Yeah, if not... Blame Matt. Like I'm sorry in advance. Expect this if you are going to subscribe. Oh yeah, why did this conversation come about? Oh, because I'm basically <laughs> supposed to be filming right now, but I'm not. I'm, I'm having a gin. You are. I'm not, but I am. You're so clever. Oh so yeah, I'll probably film this on the day that I upload it and then cry because I can't edit it in time. Can't speak. What the fuck did you, that was not a sentence. And cry because I can't edit it in time. I'll probably film this on the day that I record it. I'll probably film this on the day that I upload it and edit it in You'll time. Film this on the day you Film the haul. Uh, and then yeah. So you're cool. adding this into the whole video, so it's not a vlog, it's called five. Yeah. Oh. Idiot. Thanks for the content. <laughs> See you when I film this. Hi everybody and welcome uh what? <laughs> Hi everybody and I just wanna start off by saying I'm so sorry for the terrible filming. I literally filmed in no shops. Like, I'm really sorry. This is such a bad vlog. <laughs> but have I got a treat for you right now? This bit of the video is going to now be the clothing haul. I picked up some insane items. So, first impressions, the Primark. Okay. I went to the Primark in Manchester the other week and... It was absolutely like, terrible. Really found it disappointing. However, yesterday when I went to the one in Liverpool, oh my goodness, it was so good. Like everything was there. They were in stock of everything. And like usually when I go to Primark, I went to in Manchester, it was all like the sizes that didn't fit me left. So it's always like triple XL that's left over or two extra small. And I'm like, Where's the middle ground, Primark, you know? But I was really impressed with it yesterday. So um, I did actually give Matt his present last night. I will find that and show you it, actually. I got him this. 
a car hat long sleeve top is literally matt's favorite brand but the reason that i got him it is because matt's got a screw loose <laughs> i'm so funny he was very very impressed with that anyway on to the important bit now but i'm just gonna go straight in there and start with the things that i picked up from primark so first of all i know you all saw me pick up a gorge bag so i actually did end up buying it and it comes with a strap i was hoping it would come with a strap i like this i think that this is like super beach vibes it only cost me 10 pounds and then i'm not gonna lie i don't want to pick this bag up because of the color how could i not eight pounds can't go wrong really can you so i'm gonna go for the gym stuff that i got because i was honestly so impressed with all the gym clothes that they've got in there so i first picked up this sports bra like an orange a burn orange color and it's absolutely gorgeous i also picked it up again in this color what i like about primark sports bras is that you can take the padding out i hate brows with padding it just makes me feel like really bunched up so i think it, that they're perfect and i love the back of them as well i got both of these in an extra small i'm not going to try these ones on because i have got a set in there with a bra that's very similar so the fits are all going to be pretty similar i'm really impressed with that i love this color so then i remember showing you the purple lilac sets so i picked up the legging i hate to say it but i think that what they're trying to do is like dupe Gymshark leggings because the material you see like the ribs and like the little holes i got them in a small and then i've got this top as well you can take the padding out of this one as well but yeah i will try this on see what we think you are absolutely gonna have to excuse my food baby i literally have just wolfed down a sausage sandwich and a half but anyway I'm living for this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Is anybody else the same? And like, if I'm going to the gym, I always find that a good gym set makes me work out better. The bra is like a pretty similar fit to the ones that I showed you before. The only thing is it's not the same on the back. This is beautiful. I also did get these leggings, but in this color as well. I actually got these in a size extra small. So these are small. This is a small. Should have got this in an extra small, but they didn't have it and there was no chance I was leaving without it. These I got in an extra small just because I have actually already got some of these leggings from last year and I remember that the way gets looser and looser as the day goes on. So I picked up the extra small just so that if I am like going to the gym after work, then these won't fail me on the waist. Next on the sports agenda, I picked up some running shorts. So I really struggle with running in shorts. I don't like it. But I think this summer, it's going to be the summer where, you know, I've just got to get a grip really and start running in some freaking running shorts. I bought these. Can anyone tell my favourite colours, by the way? And then I got these, which are like hot pants. I'll try these on and see what we think. They fit nicely. These are nice and cute. These are only five pounds. These are a 10 out of 10 for me. I'll try on the black ones. These are much more of a running kind of vibe. I think with the tighter material, you know, it's not gonna ride up. I like these a lot. These are 10 out of 10. These were also five pounds. So while we're on the like gym vibe, I just want to show you that Primark sell Kappa socks. So I actually bought some for me and some for Matt. Does anyone else like wearing their boyfriend's socks? So I bought us both a pair of the long socks. They're only £3.50. Then I picked up some trainer socks just for when I go on my runs and stuff. Absolutely amazing. If you like Kappa socks, get yourself to Primark. So I actually did pick up some nice like underwear bits and pieces. But uh, this cute little bra actually does come with a set. So they're in the wash. Might be too much information. I don't really care at this point. Gorgeous. But yeah, this is so, so cute. It was only £5. Also, now Primark have these like little sets. I went for a pink and a black these only cost me five pounds each i also picked these up in mint green color as well so we're on to the last few bits that i got from primark i also picked up this green top i got this in an extra small really nice top for summer a pair of black shorts something like that and i literally turned the corner to go pay and i was like how cute is this now this says it's a two extra small i'm gonna try this on and see what it's like how anyone can call this a two extra small? I have no idea. This is like perfect size for me and I'm not a two extra small. I'm really shocked with the quality in Primark at the minute. But last but not least, I picked up a few accessories. I use a tote bag every single day for work. 
I really struggle to find one that I'm comfortable with just like taking to work and if it gets like ruined, it's fine. For me, if I'm buying something, I don't want to start taking it to work just so that it can get ruined. But I saw this in Primark and I was like, this is brilliant. Primark have now got this recycle section. I saw this bag and I was like, brilliant, it's recycled. And it literally says, not a plastic bag. It's made with 100% organic cotton. So this actually was only £1.50. Going on to jewellery. Would it be a haul if I hadn't picked up some sunglasses? I think not. I picked up two pairs of sunglasses. These haven't got a label on them because I might have worn them yesterday. But these do because I didn't wear these yesterday. They're just like so fashionable at the minute. These like turtle sunglasses, I think they're called. Then went for some gold chunky jewelry look at how nice these are oh, this really gives me like billy eilish vibes the quality of them is really nice they were only three pounds each the last of the jewelry that i got was some rings so i had to get a large but at least we know it's gonna fit every finger the last part of this haul i'm gonna show you some bits that i picked up from urban outfitters honey so the first thing that i picked up was this gorgeous like lime green crop top i'm gonna try this on for you with something else in a minute i know that the tennis skirt is a vibe at the minute never really been a fan what have we said all along on this channel guys 2021 is the year to step out of the comfort zone she got a tennis skirt i love the little like tennis embroidery detail on the end there i'm gonna try this on with the green top hopefully it's a match okay not entirely sure that this goes but i'm just gonna show you anyway because they are really nice separately this is the top when i'm wearing tops like this i don't like to wear a bra this isn't that supportive but it's fine free the nip and the skirt my only issue with the skirt is the waistband if i get this in a smaller size you can just guarantee it's gonna be too short next from urban i picked up this absolute like gorgeous top how cute is that i think it's really different like i've not got anything like this in my wardrobe love this top i think i got this in a size extra small i picked up another juicy couture item do you see why i got this one in a size small but it to be more baggy and with a little bit more length but obsessed it obviously has the juicy detail there this dress is an absolute 10 out of 10 for me okay, so now we're on the final final item of this video guys last thing that i picked up from urban was another dress the cherries i'm gonna try this on and show you in a sec this dress is such a vibe it just fits so well it has like the underneath bit and then it has the flowy bit on the top. Gets you in the right place. It's literally everything and more that I could want in a dress. Perfect length, perfect fit. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. So that brings this video to a close. I really, really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. This was an interesting one to do because I... Like, I tried to film whilst I was shopping. I think that's maybe just a confidence thing. Maybe once I've been doing it a little bit longer, I'll be able to kind of get out there a little bit more. I really enjoyed filming this video for you. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Once again, thank you to every single person that is supporting me right now. I couldn't be more thankful. So yeah, hope everybody has a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody.